what we do is we make a product called Ava Bite, which is a smart indoor garden for people who are either self-proclaimed plant killers or maybe don't necessarily have the space, environment, or skills to grow food at home all year round. So how does it work? Because I'm like a person who's really bad with plants. <laughs> I might Perfect be a, for you. <laughs> be a good product for me. Awesome. So it's kind of like a Keurig or Nespresso machine for gardening. You have these pods that have uh, slow release nutrients in them, pH buffering, everything your plants need to grow. All you have to do is add water. So once a month, instead of once every two or three days, you add water into the device and it helps the light water basically monitor your plants all throughout its growth cycle. So does it have sensors in it or how does it work? Yes, it does. So it has four different sensors in it from ambient light to temperature, humidity and water level. And it actually has a camera in there as well. So it can start to see the growth rate, how it's doing, when it's ready for harvest, all sorts of different things. And we actually have a code on each of our pod packs that syncs to the device. So if you're not really familiar with how to prune or harvest your plants, you can follow the growing tips on the app. Sounds very cool, actually. Thank um, you. So in, in terms of like size, like are we talking about like a backyard garden? Are we talking about like on a, you know, on a balcony? What are we talking about here? Yeah, so Ava Bay is meant for uh, indoor apartment growing. So it's about this big uh, and actually it has a height that can extend for taller plants or you can keep it short for smaller plants like microgreens. Uh, so it's meant for the width of an, a windowsill or to be able to put against a wall without taking up too much space. So you have these packets now and you, what, what, what are we talking about here? We're talking like tomatoes or flowers or all of the above? Yeah, so we're starting with more leafy greens and herbs because that's mostly what people want to start out with. And then we're moving fresh into- Fresh basil, right? Yes, fresh basil or sometimes cilantro is one of those really polarizing items. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Exactly. Uh, and we also have things like strawberries, tomatoes under development as well. It has these sensors and the sensors feeding into something. Is that your smartphone where you kind of look at an app and it says, you know, your plant needs this, you should do it now? Absolutely. So the sensors feed uh, information to both the device as well as a smartphone. But actually, if you have a smart home system like Google Home or Amazon Alexa, you can start using your voice to ask them, hey, how are my plants doing? When will it be ready for harvest? When should I add water? So it can integrate with your entire system. It's very cool as well. Um, so how long have you guys been around? So we've been in business for about three years now. A lot of the beginning was uh, to develop the product, make sure it's something that people wanted, and now we're actually in production, getting ready to ship for the end of the year. So this isn't on sale on the market yet? So it's not on sale, it's on pre-sale right now at TechCrunch, uh, and we're uh, shipping very, very soon. All right, well, excellent. Thank you so much. It's a very, you very, very interesting product. Thank you very much.